we're, Melbourne Water has a vision for enhancing life and livability for Melbourne. Um, so it, we, we're trying to, to look at how can we manage water better uh, in our you know, growing city. So Melbourne's growing at a very rapid rate. Um, we're also coming into a, a context of you know, uncertainty around the climate and security of supply. Um, and so there's a whole bunch of issues there around you know, how do we provide a secure supply of water, you know, it's secure, it's clean, um, but at the same time, you know, how do we, um, also with a rapidly growing city, how do we protect the health of our environment? Um, and, and how can we do things a bit differently in terms of uh, the, the social benefits around providing water, rather than just providing water to a tap when you turn it on, what are the other things that we can provide as a, a service and, and, and enjoyment, I guess, to the people of Melbourne? So I think um, this CRC is quite exciting because it's really focusing on uh, you know, what is that sort of big next chapter around water management. I think particularly for Melbourne, we, you know, we, we see that we want a more livable Melbourne and I think the CRC will, will help us you know, better equip ourselves to try and achieve that vision. The CRC, I guess, will, um, it, it does to some extent build on existing research relationships and, and um, programs, as I mentioned before. Um, but essentially it will help us to, um, I think, develop the sorts of technologies we're going to need to be able to do the things that we want to do, to be able to supply and treat and uh, you know, the water that we, we, we need. Um, yeah, so, it's, it's, so an element will be about you know, helping us with the technology. I said the CRC has got those important components of um, the tech, developing the technologies to help us get there, um, understanding some of the, some of the social elements around you know how to, how can we negotiate some of these barriers around um, policy and government arra governance arrangements and um, I guess working with various stakeholders and being able to, to get them on board and understand what their drivers are and then you know, and how we can you know, achieve I guess. Essentially, um, my role is, is trying to help identify within the business what are those critical information gaps that we have. So, what are those things that are really holding us back from doing the job we want to do or where we want to go to achieve our targets? What are those things that are really holding us back um, in terms of a lack of knowledge? I think with a, a role like I have in Melbourne Water, it's, it, it is certainly about trying to um, trying to make a difference and it, 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 it's, it can be quite rewarding when, when I mean, we in some ways, you know, we're quite privileged to have a role where we're looking after, well, this is what I feel, right? you know, I feel privileged to have a role looking after the health of Melbourne's rivers and creeks and, you know, here's a real opportunity in that role to, to make a difference and, and to leave a positive mark, I guess.